Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Captain of Industry. Um, okay, so in the last episode, uh, the last two episodes actually, we spent a whole heap of time planning out our advanced diesel facility over here. Um, it took me a bit of time to get the resources together to actually get that um, built, uh, but I've got it built now and we're out of workers, so we'll need to have a look at that. Oh, we're out of research as well, so a few pieces of research has continued along the way. Advanced logistics is something we can do. I got construction three and chemical plant fertilizer in there. So that's something we can look into uh, into using fairly quickly. Um, sour water recovery. Um, is that just new recipes that you can get? Um, I think that's something we can get. Maintenance two is something that we we'll probably need fairly soon. Um, and assembly three um, machines are also not bad. Um, they do um, come with a hefty price, so we'll have to um, keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, desalination is something that would be interesting too. Research Labs 3 is going to be uh, something that we need fairly quickly. So uh, let's just make a start. Let's get the assembly. Let's go to the sour water recovery. Then let's go to ooh, copper refinement number two. Um, where will we get chemicals from? I'm not sure where or did one of our previous recipes yeah one of our previous recipes does that so that's okay so let's uh, grab then um, copper refinement two and then go for maintenance two um, into a research lab uh, into mixer two into research lab three um, and into thermal desalination so i think that's where we'll uh, we'll put our queue into for the moment a lot of stuff needs to happen now the next big thing that i need to do is i need to start setting up the um the, uh, the, the this facility so for getting offshore um, oil over here because we are running out pretty quickly only 55 percent of our reserve is left but i think we are pretty close to getting it all um sorted so let's um let's apply let's grab one unit over there i believe we should be able to build it pretty quickly And then the idea is that we'll need a pipe to run all the way that way. Uh, I don't think we need anything super um, amazing in terms of piping. I think just a single, um, a single, uh, the old kind of pipe is probably about right. Now, what we will need to do is, oh, and that's going to cost us workers straight away. Anyway, we'll have a look at that. What we're probably not using at the moment is this facility. So take that off. So we've got some workers available over here so that we can then, in fact, get... Um, Get some stuff to happen now in terms of getting this pipe here and having it um not uh mess things around too much i'm kind of tempted to to run it through Ooh, actually this is where diesel uh, i mean crude comes from um and then crude goes straight into here we don't even store crude at this point so i think maybe not mess with this too much we could, of course, run it this way around, um, cut across there so that we don't um, mess with this area too much. Uh, and that might be a good idea. Actually, coming over here and running this way is uh, probably a right, the right call. Uh, okay, so let's see. If we wanted to line it up with that, let's uh, stay on the ground up to there. Then we go to height three. Oh, hang on. Let's drop it down. Just there. Now we go to height three. Excellent. I think that's exactly what we're after. We're going to run it out this way. And uh, we, what we'll do is we'll get it up to as far as we can get, basically. And then we do that. Excellent. I think that'll leave it pretty straightforward. So that'll give us um, crude oil into this reserve over here. 
And that means what we also need to do is start getting our um, uh, thing up and running. So let's do that. We'll, we don't have enough workers, so we'll have to see what we can do with workers. So now we'll get some crude um, to start being accumulated. That's okay. Okay, so can we can we come in over here and ask them to give us some workers? No, we cannot. They won't give us extra populations. Okay, what we'll need to do is let's switch on back our beacon over here and get uh, this going. So what can I switch off still? Um, all of this stuff is switched off, so that shouldn't grab any workers. At this point in time, this doesn't need any workers, so let's switch that one off. Um, these are in desperate need of workers, but what we can do is let's switch off um, maybe some of these. Okay, that shouldn't be the end of the world if we switch off some of those. We're definitely not switching off maintenance. We only need one more worker. Um, is this thing full? Yeah, presumably this is full. So what I'll do is I'll switch off um, one of our pumps over there as well. So now we have um, a bit going on. Oh, yes, as we build more vehicles, which is something that I've continued to do, um, that does, in fact, happen to be uh, become a bit of a problem. So get out of here. Let's have a quick look. Um, this is, in fact, doing its thing, um, building up a nice supply of crude over there, which I'm quite happy if it can come back over this way. Um, now, it's docked at the moment. The boat is fully loaded with diesel as is required. There is nothing to pick up at this stage. So let's see what happens once there is something to pick up. This thing can hold 180 um, units of crude. I'm not too sure what that unit is, actually. It doesn't say. Just 180 units of crude can hold that much. So that's pretty good. We'll, uh, we'll definitely want that to continue. Uh, I wouldn't mind switching. Anyway, we'll get um, we'll get more people coming in in just a bit, and then we'll start switching stuff back on again. Yeah, that's going to be cool. Now that's okay. That's going on. Now, can we? Is there anything else we can? Yeah. So this should. Oh, actually, this will have um, enough for the ship to come and collect in just a moment. So it, once it's got 180, is this one going? You definitely have something to be picked up. Now the question is, is it because this thing is closed? I'll have a look. Not enough workers, but it should still be able to go and pick up, right? It it definitely there, there is enough there to be loaded. Uh, oh, request ship to this location. Do I need to do that every time? Oh, no, 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 no. That's the wrong ship that I've that I've gone and selected. Um, this guy, can you please go home? Oh crap! I didn't want that that ship to go this way. I wanted to come and explore over here. Actually, can you can you instead explore this way? Excellent. Come and explore that way. That's beautiful. Um, we had a little bit of extra population. That's just arrived. Uh, we can continue to have more population arriving um, because we're going to need a lot of that um, over here. So they all bring along with them all cool stuff for us. So we're going to need a lot of workers to work this facility. So we'll continue to do that. How much um, housing do we have available? We don't have any. So let's go ahead and upgrade um, the next round of housing there. So we'll have a little bit more room for more um, workers to join in. Uh, I will switch this back on again just to make sure that we uh, don't miss out on some of our water facilities over here. Okay, so now we will get our very next load of crude. Um, we'll start coming in and we'll start filling up these um, these facilities over here. And then we'll... Uh, oh, the one thing that we do need to do now is we've got an output over here for um, an uh, ammonia. Uh, oh, no, is that it? No, 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 no. Yeah, ammonia is coming out this way, and we've got heavy oil coming out into this direction. So if we go and have a look at our chemical things. Ooh, I want to build a flywheel. Okay, that's next. That's next, so we can store a little bit of power. I think that's good. Now, um, 
chemical stuff. What am I after? Ah, here we go. Uh, so this... We're getting ammonia. Okay, and from there, from the... Is it a cracking unit? Chemical plant? Aha, here we go. Ooh, we need this first. Okay. Before we can do that, we need that. So, and of course, these guys will need to put their heavy oil out somewhere. So, I think think for the time being, heavy oil may have to get its own little um, storage unit. And it's probably not the end of the world to have a bit of a storage unit for heavy oil anyway. So what I'm keen on doing is let's just give ourselves a little bit of room here. And then what we'll do is we will we'll do that. I hope that's going to be sufficient. So we'll get, get cracking on that, get uh, get working. Some exploration is going on and I believe, oh, here we go. Our crude is being offloaded, right? Yeah, offloaded, crude is being offloaded. Oh, we're being uh, chased away, unfortunately. Can we go here instead? Can we go there instead? No, we're gonna have to go home. Go home, load up again and we'll come and try um, these ones. Okay, and back to basics. We should be getting oil in here. Yes, there we go. Oil is being delivered. So I'm happy for this thing to continue to chug along at this rate. We can expand that by adding an extra module. Then this will this uh, boat will go and grab 360 at a time. Uh, let's quickly see. So it has enough over here to come and pick up again. Oh, yes, just enough. Excellent. So that's good. So that is a good use. Now we've got a few workers available, not tons. Is this thing done? Oh, 16 refugees going to come in shortly. Um, but this thing should be practically full. It's just the stuff slowly moving through to the end there. That's good. Fill that up with crude at um, and, and until we get um, to a, a nice consistent flow, we'll, uh, we'll um, wait there for a minute. So let's uh, switch this one back on. Um, and no, we can only switch off, switch on the one. Uh, when the next bout of refugees comes by, we'll we'll do the rest. Yeah, so this has been upgraded. There's a number of additional spots now still available for us. Our next refugee should arrive shortly. Excellent. Um, I do want to, to get to uh, that level three stuff as soon as this is done. Okay, some more refugees has arrived. They bring along with them some more stuff. And now I can go ahead and switch on that one. Now, one thing I would like to do is upgrade the uh, settlement that we're dealing with. But let's quickly have a look at further assembly, uh, electric assembly number three. So this needs steel production also. So how do we do that? So steel production. The blast furnace creates molten iron. And then from there, metal caster. Ah, here we go, cooled caster. Okay. Oxygen furnace, okay, here we go. Wow, this is gonna be pricey to build all of this stuff, oxygen furnace. So we need a blast furnace to produce um, molten iron, right, molten iron. And then from there, it takes 16 molten iron. So two blast furnaces take 16 molten iron and creates. Um, oh, no, but it does it every 20 seconds. OK, so that's OK. So this is one to one ratio then. Gives me eight molten steel. And then from molten steel, we use the cold caster to give us steel. And that gives us every 40 seconds. So it's a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio. Oh, there we go. Okay, so with a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one ratio, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll get our um, blast furnace in here so we don't have to set up a bunch of additional stuff. So we'll go ahead and set up our blast furnace over here. And I'm kind of tempted to... Well, let's give it a little... A little bit of room. 
Yeah, let's give it a little bit of room. So we'll set up a blast furnace in that spot. From there, we need the, the oxygen. And so the oxygen will require um, an aerator. So if I, ooh, if I flip this around, oops, uh, give me that thing again. Uh, it's all part of this stuff. So the oxygen furnace, flip it and rotate it. There we go. That's the one that I'm after. Give it a little bit of room over this way and see about getting those pipes all working together to get everything out there. Yes, that's good. Um, so let's get that going. This needs to be iron ore. Let's get our pipes done. Well, let's start off with this guy. Um, ooh, 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 over there. Can we do that, please. Excellent. And should be able to do that. All good. So that should give us, that should work. Now, from here to there, we would like to run a little bit of this. This is going into, into this guy. Um, yeah, let's just do that. That goes over there. Now, we need an aerator and some other stuff. Uh, yep, that goes through. Nice. Um, out of workers. No, population has increased again. Nice. I like it. I like it. Uh, what's happening? Not enough. Ooh, not enough unity. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Guys, guys, guys. Let's, uh, let's, let's put the brakes. Let's put the brakes on. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm after. Just stop the boost, please. Don't put the brakes on. Just stop the boost. That's okay. Uh, why is my unity all... Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Fine. I don't know. Everything is just going to fall to pieces. I didn't quite keep an eye on that unity number there then. Okay, so where am I? I'm currently chopping down. I did chop down a bit of trees over here and a bit of, and a bit of over there. Um, what we can do is in the immediate vicinity over here, let's chop down all of this. Yeah, let's do, let's do all of that. Let's chop down all of those trees and all of those trees and open up this area a little bit for us. So we'll get that sorted out. Concrete mixer does not have enough unity. So let's just remove the boost at the moment. Thank you. Um, let's, uh, let's switch off one of them and see. Maybe that should give us enough unity now. I think if we just give it a minute, ooh, not enough maintenance. There we go. Unity is starting to come back up. I think this just ran out a little bit, did it? This requires unity, does it? No, it doesn't. That's dropping, so I have to boost this guy. Why is our unity dropping off? Farm could not store all potato harvest. Oh my, oh my, we've got way more food than we can, can deal with. Okay, okay, let's fix that. Let's fix that. This stuff is coming out. Ooh. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bummer here. Because that's going to cost us a little bit. I think it might be cheaper for us to just build that quickly and we're not going to quick build it. It's definitely not going to be quick built. So if we do and we'll do one over there and we'll get that to run in there. That's okay. I don't mind that little loop around. Okay. Can we please sort that out? We don't have enough maintenance. Maintenance is going to become a problem soon. Where is all of our unity going? Should I, let's, let's, um, I'll pause the other, the other lab for a second there too. No lab available just so that we get that unity back up. All of a sudden, the unity has gone nuts. I didn't think, I thought our unity was pretty healthy. Because what I will need to boost now is the unity on our maintenance production. It's a little weird that it's, um, that unity is struggling so much. There we go. So now we are storing some some additional um, some additional food here. 
That's good. Still our Unity. Where are we still? Are we using Unity anywhere else? Is there a Unity? What I'm what I'm interested in is, is a bit of a Unity overlay. Is, is if I look at this. Ah, here we go. The oil rig, the beacon, um, is is using 1.8 in total, and we are producing um, about two it's because we don't have electricity available to the town. So if I do give them electricity, which I think we can do. Transformer. Uh, yeah, let's give them electricity over here. <sighs> I always wonder. I think maybe I should be moving these things to this side. Well, it's definitely, we're definitely not going to have anything else down here, though. So I may as well. And I might move the food down here in the long run as well. So let's give them electricity so we can up our unity a little bit. I think that will, will be quite useful. Yeah, that's just the same thing. I oh, I wanted to um, tell you about um, about this. So what I ended up doing this thing, we stopped um, run, doing the power every couple of minutes. And so what I, because they we use putting different types of stuff in here, high pressure steam, low pressure steam, and um, the pollution, this the, the emissions, um, they just end up being a big challenge all the time. Um, they, they, they stop doing other recipes because there's constantly enough to do to do one of the recipes. So I've had to split into into multiple ones there. OK, there's more workers. Shall I drop the beacon for a little bit? Let's um, let's pause the beacon, get our unity up a little bit. And um, because I think actually I'm going to start um, boosting maintenance a little bit um, just so we uh, get that maintenance number back up again. The maintenance is starting to become a little bit of a problem. We should still get our unity up and up and running. Um, and at some point, I want to add the extra power over there or the, the flywheel. Uh, I don't think this needs a repair just yet. So let's set it off on the next journey. Let's go and explore, see what we can get. Um, how much oil do we have available here? About four containers full. Okay, so we are slowly getting enough crude oil in there to do a fair bit of stuff. This is getting us to that 50% mark. I really want to um, I really want to stop that as soon as I can. Okay, so now moving on to the next kind of stuff. Now, where's all this unit? Oh, we've got the power in there. So the power is uh, getting us unity. So let's um, unpause this guy. Ooh, if we do though, the next 16, We'll uh, fill it up. So let's uh, let's get it one more round because we're going to need a fair bit of workers to open up um, this facility, and that may, maybe that will be uh, just about enough. Back up and running with um, with a sufficient supply of of maintenance. That's very good. Now let's quickly continue our journey over here. I also want to get the flywheel going. So the flywheel can. Uh, is able to store 80 megawatt seconds worth of mechanical power as inertia of a spinning mass. I have no idea what that means and whether that is okay to just do this, but I believe that'll work. So we'll spend a little bit on that, see if we can um, store a little bit of extra power. Um, now let's get back to this. We need an aerator. So an aerator is, or an air separator, which costs an enormous amount of um, the construction parts. That's all set up though. So if I do. Wow, that's ex expensive and we're going to need workers for all of this though. I'll, uh, I'll leave a little bit of gap there. So we'll do that. We'll get that all sorted out there. We will need to at this point flare off um, this guy. Oh, we could flare off the heavy oil also. Uh, I believe. Oh, I can't flare this off. Um, so this is to be one of these then. Yeah, we can uh, we can just do that. So we'll flare, uh, we'll we'll discard that for the time being. So that'll be all good. Now we do need to um, actually run these um, these U shaped conveyors over here. So that one we can just tie in there. This one, I'm thinking we'll do a bit of this with. Oh, that's okay. I'm. I'm okay with that. And this one, we'll just run 
down there. There we go. That's awesome. That's going to be fairly clean. <laughs> fairly clean. Okay, now we are running into, into lots and lots of pirates here. Excellent. That's good. That's good. So now from here... The next step is to go to the clean, uh, uh, the metal caster. No, the cooled caster. So the cool caster would like water. Let's give it. A, let's give it a minute. We don't have enough um, parts to actually keep running that. So let's uh, see about giving this one a bit of a boost again. It should help us out just a little bit getting some more of that through. Good. Um, we can also switch on one of our labs again. Four months to the refugees. Let's switch on a lab. We'll use a little bit of our unity. Because we are now producing electricity for our people here. Oh, excellent. So there's a little bit of a... There's a little bit of a multiplier going on now, I see. Okay, that's all good. We can actually switch on multiple labs, I think. Ooh, unless we run out of power. Um, I think it's just because this thing was finished. Um, oh, no, no, no. We are actually now short on power. So I'll have to switch on another one of these guys. I believe should do the trick. Yeah, yeah, I think we should be okay. I don't mind using a little bit of diesel um, to give us power as well. Um, we will, however, at some point expand that facility. How are we going? Yes, oil is filling up. Crude is filling up over here. I do want to um, put an end to this supply, though. But I need to this thing to be up and running before I do that. I need this thing to be up and running. Okay, that's all good. That is starting to come in. Oxygen furnace needs to transport out molten product. Yes, I am aware. So the cooled caster needs to be built. And I think... Um, about that is going to be appropriate. Or do I bring it forward a little bit? I don't want it to be enormous amounts of stuff. So uh, what we'll do. We'll do this so that we could potentially do another setup. Okay, and we'll need uh, a water supply. Well, I'll put the water supply on this side and we'll just... Um, Kind of hit it across there. No. Well, we want water in there. Water and I would like it filled up, please. And give me pipe. Connect there. That's okay. And then this one comes out. So that's our steel. Now, um, I'll leave a little bit of room there. But what we'll need to do is provide a bit of a storage facility. I'll do that. Okay, and we'll split off some steel over there. So we'll get some steel. Now, the next thing we need to do is build our assembly number three. Ne Ooh, okay, okay. So it's not going to be assembly number three to start with. Well, let's do this then. Let's just start it off over here. Um, and what it'll do is it'll use the steel and from that side, we will bring in, okay, so do that, um, connect this one up there. And then on this side, we will go ahead and connect flat conveyor from there. Uh, we'll need to obviously go up, up one, two, three. 
Okay, let's do that. We'll go with three. There we go. Okay, get that built up because this will... Um, uh, no, 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 no. This will build um, some of these guys for us. Excellent. Lots of construction pieces underway. Okay, now we've got our new round of refugees. We're full up. Okay, so let's switch off this guy. Got some extra refugees. So now I believe we should be in the... in 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 Have the ability... To start um, running this thing. that That's going to do pneumonia. So until we can do that, we should be able to flare off pneumonia. Let me just have a quick look at this. Uh, yes, we can We can flare that off for the time being. Okay, so let's, um, let's see about getting one of them up and running. So let's open this one for business. And of course, then we'll need to open that one for business to get to get the, that going. Then is this full of water? No, 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 no. We need that full of water, please. Uh, we need this one up and running. We need that one up and running. Okay. So that'll fill everything up along the way. There is a little piece missing here in the fact that that NAFTA... Uh, actually, let's um, let's switch that off. Let's go with the other side first because the other side is all good. So let's go and switch this side on. And that means we can also switch this one on. But we will along the way need to switch this one on. Meaning we will have and then we can switch that one on and this one will provide us with rubber but we don't have any place for it to store just yet. So I will have to build a little flare. Uh, which I'm fully intent on um, getting rid of. But we can do the flare for the time being. Rubber maker has no recipe. So we would definitely like to produce from NAFTA and sulfur we would like to produce rubber. There we go. So we'll do that. We've got about five workers short, it seems. And we still have some of these switched off, though. And these things still need to, need to be opened up for business. Uh, we're all full. Um, so I think we'll need to have a look at getting that upgrade done. Okay. Um, so I was hoping we'll, we'll put this up and the running into, into practice, but not quite yet. Why are you? Oh, you're missing water. So yes, we do need water um, here at maybe a P8 style level. Please bring in some water at a P8 level for us. Um, that we'll need to use fairly quickly also. So we just need way more workers. Everything is opening up now needing in need of workers, which of course is a challenge for us to deal with. Oh, there we go. That's workers required over there. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and bring in more workers. We definitely need more workers ASAP. Um, this is probably saying it's got an um, uh, output is full. Oh crap! Hang on, hang on. I'm missing. I'm missing something here. If I do this. I need a smokestack. I'm. Uh, I'm just gonna add the smokestack right in there. Okay, do that. And what I'll do is I'll pay for quick delivery of these items so that we can uh, get get going. There we go. Excellent. There we go. And that is production underway. And this should be popping me in some diesel. There we go. Diesel. There we go. Diesel production is up and running. Um, this may or may not work as this is flooding in here. I'll need to switch this on also. 28 workers is needed at this stage. So that is crazy amounts of people. Oh, what we could do is we could switch these off. Let's do that. Let's switch this off. This is... Um, Hopefully, it's 
being flared off. That's heavy oil coming in. We've got water over here. Um, some sulfur is going that way. Rubber can uh, probably become produced fairly soon. Uh, we are filling up with NAFTA over here. That's good. Uh, this should get um, some stuff. Ooh, we'll need to switch that on in order for that to get some stuff. Um, so yet again, there we go. Another air separator needing some workers. Now, is there anything else that we can switch off and then I'll end the episode? That's still switched off. Hmm. This doesn't have workers just yet. We do need, we do, honestly, we need to, um, we need to get this uh, working. Let's switch that off for the time being. This is missing four workers. Uh, th these are only like one workers, two workers over here. We can't switch off power. There's just no way that's a feasible, a feasible option. How much? Wow, look at all the food we have available over here now. Our food supply is is great. Um, ooh, I'm not using this. Switch that off straight away. I'm. I've got some stuff parked over there, but I'm not actually using that. Okay, now we seem to have just about enough workers to see about this. How's our diesel going? Diesel is now being produced. Okay, that's good. That's very good. Is this producing rubber? Yes, this is producing rubber. So we need an output for the rubber. Let's quickly do that. And that'll be the end. Um, all the time being, I think I'm just going to run the rubber right in there. There we go. So get me a, a rubber output. It'll be a slow um, output for rubber there, but let's uh, make this rubber. And so if they want to do um, come and store rubber, that's it. So there we go. And that is, that's it, guys. So here we have our advanced diesel actually um, being produced. We do need to um, to get this up and running. Oh, yes, we've got a little bit of um, steel making its way in here, which is awesome. So another eight or so workers, and that'll be fine. So the next flare uh, or the next uh, ba uh, batch of refugees will We'll get that up and running. Awesome. And then we can start looking at upgrading one of our villages. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Um, we will continue this. I am really enjoying this game. Um, so, see you next time. Bye-bye.